All right, this is uh, a few of the notes to finish up Unit 2. Not completely, but anyway, some of the things we talked about um, on this particular day. We talked about emails to a person, to somebody else, not directed to the person who it's to, a carbon copy, blind carbon copy. You want these people to see it, but you don't want anybody else up here to see their addresses. We talked about executable files that execute on your machine. You can download um, PuTTY. It executes right on your machine. Download it for the appropriate uh, operating system. WinSCP, uh, secured copy, same thing. We talked about kind of software. We talked about a browser, some of the things it does. Computer capabilities, we went through these specifically. The fact that they're fast. And if the software and data, you know, are correct, it will accurately produce something over and over. Large quantities of data can be manipulated, worked with, and they tend to be pretty reliable nowadays. Um, the hardware, uh, software design, and so forth, pretty reliable. <clears throat> A lot of this is review. Um, uh, some of it's new. We talked about here. I mentioned again a little bit of Y technology, and we talked about the internet and access. We have service providers, and then we have <clears throat> internet service providers, and we talked about this. They give us access in. We can use browsers and web servers, you know, as web servers. And we talk about HTML, the information that comes from that web server back to your PC is interpreted by your PC by those tags, and we can see what the web server has to offer. Hypertext transfer protocol is that application layer protocol that allows us to make this communications. We talked about things you can use through the internet, email, instant messaging, social networking. You can text people and tweet. Now that communication isn't necessarily going through the internet. That can go through your, the phone system. Uh, web logs, blogs and wikis. The idea of people can build wikis based on what most people think something is. Blogs, we mentioned the fact that that's people's opinion. This is a repeat of some of the same things. Service providers, plain old telephone service. They offer us, <coughs> excuse me, cell. Um, texting through your cellular phone. You can get internet access through a, a phone. Uh, service providers can give us access into the internet. <coughs> We talk about browsers. Here's all those communication things I mentioned from the other page. And then I didn't mention the other page. Search tools. There's software out there. And we did a, uh, we viewed a video in class that had to do with search engines, at least how Google organizes theirs. And then we talked about the importance of this right here. Content evaluation looking at the content and making sure the content is of value. There's no real regulation out there on the internet and um, it's up to the users to have a be a critical of the information they read and evaluate if it's a value or fact check it. Go back and see if the sources they give or at least the sources they claim it came from are valid uh, people put things on the internet that are not true and they put it there on purpose. All right. Some utilities. There's uh, web-based apps that run in browsers. We, we looked at some of those already. Uh, file transfer protocol. We can do that through the web. We can move files securely or we can just move files. Um, <clears throat> most of it's secured, but we can download through the using web services as plugins and add-ons for browsers, Flash and Silverlight and different things to make them do cool stuff. We spend some time 
talking about filters, controlling what can come through to the computer and what not. We can filter on a variety of things. We learn more about that later on. And then we had some general class discussion on internet security. Um, where there are probably issues. And we discuss that in class. This is from a similar page we talked about. Talk about the internet really being an internet work, and it just allows us to communicate with websites, and anybody can connect in, anybody can create a website, and there's nobody monitoring whether that's good or bad information. There's a little repeat where we talk about the browsers. We have the uh, little blurb on software from on point March and we talked a little bit about that <clears throat> and the idea there was the value of software the software engineer here in this case was um, tried to lured they were be they were going to go to Facebook Google tried to keep them 15% raise $150,000 salary 4% or four times a squat their stock options increase and a five hundred thousand dollar bonus if they stayed this engineer didn't went to Facebook a little review here we talked about hardware software system software operating system and utilities fall under this category of system software then we have applications. We talked a little bit about productivity applications, word processing, spreadsheets, database, presentation, and graphics. The idea here is a typical user can learn how to run this software and be more productive. Okay? So we're looking at the user being more productive without being a programming expert. And then this is just a view of a similar page, kind of showing where our PC connects in. This is literally how we actually do it here at NIAC from our lab PC, lab PC 229. And <clears throat> we can connect to the internet, go to a website, information comes back using this concept. Learn a little bit more about that after midterm in which we talk more specifically about networking. And that's it.